Throughout history, artists have used color to create certain moods and impressions. Businesses, institutions, and brands also use color mindfully to affect human psychology. In this video, we are going to determine what effect colors and color combinations can have on viewers so that you as an artist or creative or brand or anything can implement this. Why do we notice color? simply for evolutionary and survival functions, to find food, to detect dangers and hazards. Let's begin with the two colors having the greatest emotional range, which are first, green. Now studies show green reduces stress effectively, creates calm and a feeling of connectedness. In history, green is related to health and to luck. If the shade is rich or pastel, then the viewer may relate it to prosperity and wealth. Money takes about this shade of green. I'm going to go zen on you today and mention the spiritual context of green because I feel it fulfills the other context too. In cultures deeming auras, the green aura is said to have a healing energy and is connected to nature, is love-centered, harmonic, comfortable, communicative, and social. If the shade is muddy though, it's linked to jealousy, blame, and insecurity. The second color with a wide emotional evoking range is blue. If the shade is bright, then it will kindle a sense of tranquility. Brands use blue to kindle trust and security. Perhaps it is why banks use this color often. Facebook also takes this color. Clear blue aura is related to peace, collectedness, intuition, sensitivity, and clarity. Royal blue is a shade which reminds of royalty. Now, if the blue is dark and overused, as it is a cold color, it can create feelings of sadness and sorrow, like here in Picasso's artwork. Swampy blue auras indicate fear of failure, fear of facing the truth, and fear of self-expression. Food brands avoid blue because it somehow reduces appetite, maybe because we associate it with natural elements like sky and water. If we mix blue and green or blue and yellow, we may get turquoise. In color psychology, turquoise is compassionate, uplifting, friendly, balanced, communicative, open, and a pure color. Yellow helps us focus and grabs our attention. When used correctly, yellow creates feelings of delight, joy, cheerfulness, playfulness, warmth, and safety. If overused, these feelings can turn into frustration and will be overly stimulating, abrasive, and symbolize overthinking. In auras, a pale golden color means knowledge and spiritual awareness. Perhaps it is why in many religious portraits and artworks, the halos are made golden. Reddish orange is a vital and enthusiastic color. Brands use it to call for action or to increase appetite. Yellowish orange is a feel-good color, can be extravagant and commands notice. To explain this, look at this painting. Orange is also linked to excitement, fertility, which is in fact the highest form of creative energy. If overused, orange can be linked to addiction or to stress. Studies show the use of warm colors like yellow, red, orange tends to increase loyalty and may cause employees to work harder and uplift sales. Moving on to red. Red is one of the most noticeable colors, the color of blood and berries. Some believe red is the most noticeable color to the human eye for evolutionary reasons. Red can scream aggression or danger or passion. Many brands use red to create urgency in order to push sales. A lighter red, like light coral, will be aligned with affection, love, and maybe innocence. In spirit science, red is unforgiving, nervous, and anxious. If clear, it is energetic, but if dark, it is instead angry. If the red is deep, it can be linked to a strong will or to survival. Add white to red and you'll create pink, a supposedly feminine, romantic, soft, kind, compassionate, and youthful color. Black is not a color, yet it is. Anyways, it is tied to power, authority, dominance. That is why some luxury products foster black, like Gucci. In other cases, the color black can foreshadow mystery, death, fear, anxiety, depression, or the unknown. That is because we, as humans, do not know what lurks in the dark. It is unknown and therefore it is often linked to the mentioned negative emotions. If we add white to black and come up with gray, we can use it to appear classy and sophisticated. My favorite color, purple, awakens creativity when it is a deep shade. Different values translate to luxury, relaxation, and imagination. Pastel purple is restful and casual. Here is one of my artworks, Alice falling down the rabbit hole. This is actually a light box. I think it prompts feelings of creativity, but the dark shades are also mysterious and the overall composition is dreamy and yet anxious. 
I want to talk about indigo, the result of mixing blue with a bit of red. Indigo symbolizes intelligence, generosity, knowledge, spirituality, sensitivity, depth of character and soul, and intuition, visualization. And in Hinduism and in Buddhism, from what I have learned, indigo relates to the third eye. If you look at indigo, it is a very artistic and magical tone. A lavender tinge is dreamy, however, and lighthearted and energetic. Violet symbolizes wisdom, looking into the future, being idealistic and optimistic, and symbolizes leadership and having psychic abilities. White is clarity and the known, because no shadows lurk. Familiarity, peace, purity, and gives off a clean feeling in general. In many cultures, white is seen as a good omen, hence wedding dresses are mostly white. If an artist decided to go monochrome, however, white can take a bad turn, evolving into grief, fear, and a feeling of being stuck and terrified. That's it, I hope you benefited and felt inspired from watching this insightful art video. I wish after learning this, you're going to begin expressing how you feel in your art by using color and color combinations and will be able to create impressive atmospheres with the moods you intend to spark. Good luck on your art journey, come join me on mine by subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I post videos to help artists feel inspired and motivated. Other than that, you can buy me a coffee. I will link the link. I will leave the link in the description box.